Good morning and welcome to Satellite Lake. Today what I got for you is a review of the JJRC H8C, the supposed uh, SEMA X5C killer. What I'd like to do today is do a comparison of the two quadcopters uh, together here. Um, the SEMA X5, or the JJRC H8C is supposedly uh, designed to correct some of the technical issues of the SEMA X5C most notably uh, its uh, camera downward angle, uh, the flight time that you can get with a battery while operating the camera, and the range of the quadcopter. Um, let me discuss what those might be for the X5C. The camera angle on the X5C is, as it comes, is naturally slanted downward. And the reason for that is, is to avoid uh, propeller flicker from the sun on the lens of the camera. Uh, the distance between the camera and the propellers is only about a couple inches here. Uh, with that in mind, at low, when the sun is low in the sky, although we don't have sun today, it's an overcast day, but when the sun is normally low in the sky, propeller flicker, uh, the shade from the uh, sun onto the camera, uh, hitting the propeller, and hit the shade of the propeller hitting the camera can create a flicker a flickering effect on the camera. The way SEMA overcame that issue is to point the camera downward so that you get a more obtuse angle on the camera face and that reduces propeller flicker. Um, the way that the JJRC H8C has corrected that, that issue is first of all they increase the distance uh, from the propellers to the camera, lowered it, it's about two and a half, three inches below the propellers. Uh, that creates a more acute angle on the uh, face of the camera lens to reduce that flicker. And another thing is they increase the, the body width of the quadcopter so that they can use the bottom of the, bot of the quadcopter as a, as a shade uh, to shade the propeller uh, shadow onto the uh, front of the camera lens. So that's one thing that they've done. The second thing that uh, JGRC HHC has done is to increase the flight time. And they've done that, okay, with the, <laughs> let's go back to CMX 5C, with the 500 milliamper 3.7 volt battery of the uh, CMX 5C, if you turn the camera on and leave it on in flight, it effectively uh, decreases your flight time to about half. I only get about three and a half minutes of flight time with the camera on recording in flight uh, versus about seven minutes if I just leave the camera off. Now the way JJRC HHC overcame that is they've increased the battery size. Okay, they took about what they essentially have done is took two of these batteries these 3.7 volt batteries and pancake them together in series to create a 7.4 volt battery at 500 milliampers. Now most of this extra power is intended to power this camera and indeed when I do fly this quadcopter with this battery I get about five minutes flight time with the camera turned on vice three and a half minutes with the SEMA X5C. So yes, that overcame that issue too. Now, the, and the third issue that I still haven't verified yet is increased range. Uh, with my SEMA X5C with a standard controller, unmodified controller, I was getting about 70 to 80 meters uh, with a simple modification that I put on of a full wavelength antenna. I'm getting out to well past 100 meters, close to 200 meters actually, I'm thinking. Uh, but the JJRC HHC supposedly gets range out past 100 meters just with the stock transmitter, and I'm going to verify that today. Now let's look at the physical differences between the two. Again, the HHC is much more thicker uh, quadcopter, and again, the, the reason being that they wanted to lower that camera uh, to a lower position. To reduce the propeller propeller flicker. Uh, another difference is the is the, the propellers themselves on these quadcopters. 
The SEMA X5C has a tapered cord blade. I'm trying to show that there. The tapered cord blade is intended to provide uh, a constant lift along the blade surface because of the varied uh, uh, velocity, air velocity that's hitting the blade as you go outward radially on the blade. The HHC uses a flat, more or less a, of a uh, constant cord blade along the length and they wanted to get more bite in the air to get more lift to lift this heavier quadcopter mainly that heavier battery that's in this quadcopter and finally the third difference or one more difference I wanted to uh, talk about between the two is the lighting on the two uh, this has very bright LEDs on each of the surfaces now that makes it great for night flying but what I like about these LEDs is when the battery is low, they start to blink, and you can see them very easily in daylight. Uh, that's kind of a big difference between this. These also start to blink when the battery gets low on the uh, CMAX 5C, but they're very hard to see in the daylight. So this one, you can see that you got a low battery from a very good distance, even in daylight hours. So I, I really like that feature on the two. And one more physical difference between the two is the gearing themselves. The CMAX 5C has a uh, much smaller gear and it's uh, plastic to plastic uh, pinion and main gear. Uh, the JJRC main gear is also plastic although it's a larger diameter. Uh, the pinion on the JJRC is metal, it looks like brass, probably is brass. <laughs> so, Well, uh, let's go look at the flying differences between the two. I'm going to start off with the uh, JGRC HHC and then I'm going to go back to the SEMA X5C to show the flying differences. So let's go for a flight. Now one thing to note is the connectors on the JGRC battery, 7.4 volt battery. They're very confusing, you know, which way does it go? What I recommend that you do is once you've determined the correct way to plug in the battery is to color code it. I used a gold uh, um, uh, Sharpie marker to do mine, but you can use whatever you got to, to put some color on there to show which way the connector goes in properly. Okay, we got a slight breeze coming from the south here. Notice the LEDs on the quadcopter. I'm going to turn on my transmitter, bind it to the quadcopter, and also I'm going to select, make sure I select, I'm going to start with 25% mode. Now, to turn on the camera, you could either press the, uh, the uh, top button and that takes a photo or you can press the bottom button and that starts the video camera on the left hand uh, controller here. Now it's always a good idea to double check and look for that red light to verify that the camera is actually recording and I don't see the red light. Okay, now I see the red light. I don't know if you can see it, but it's off in the corner over here. <laughs> it's recording though. Camera's recording. Also, I'm going to turn off the lights. I don't need them in daylight hours here. Uh, you hold down the left trigger button for five seconds and that turns off the lights. Let's go for a flight. Now notice it's tilted a bit. That's because I got a wind coming from that direction. This thing automatically tilts into the wind to counter that wind. That's pretty impressive. It's fighting the wind. Okay, let's go for a flight around the uh, area at 25%. Very nice and stable flyer. Okay, it's flying with the wind now, increasing speed. So I'm, I, I'm just letting the wind push it right now. There is a significant wind up there. At altitude. Okay, I'm going to 50% so I can bring it back here. 25% wasn't enough to fight that wind. 
We're going to just fly around and see how much flight time we actually get with this quadcopter. Let's go for altitude. Okay, I'm climbing at 50% mode. Bit there, pointed toward uh, the mountains. Still climbing. I want to see what range we get with this thing. I better go upwind a bit too, in case that drops. <laughs> oh, there was the range. I'm guessing that was out about 80 meters, actually. There it goes again, 80 meters. About 80 meters. The way I can tell is, uh, I can still see it pretty well. But a good thing is it rebinds. Uh, the CMAX 5C, I have to rebind. My, at least with my version, quite on the uh, version of the board, I have to rebind the quadcopter if it falls out of range. Let's go out about. Let's go out horizontally a bit to a greater distance. Let's see if I can get more range horizontally. No? Well, I, I don't really see a significant range increase over the CMAX 5C. I think that's a little bit of hype by the vendor. The good thing is, I hear that this is bindable with the WL Toys transmitters. And those of you who have seen my videos know what I've done with my WL Toys transmitters. <laughs> so, I still expect to get extreme ranges with this in the near future without modifying this. I just use my WL Toys transmitter. Okay. I'm trying to go as far out as I can. It just keeps rebinding. Notice I'm flying upwind when you're doing this. Always fly upwind so that when you do lose control, the wind will blow it back to you. Okay, I'm letting the wind blow it back to me. I'm way up there. Okay, I better bring this down. Coming back down. Now we're going to fly low level around here until I run out of battery power. I'm not seeing any blinking on the uh, lights. Let's fly around this area now. I'll fly over to the pylons. I'm going to do the big boy pylon racing here. Flying back. Good horizontal range on this. Grabbing into the wind. Well, it is a good flyer. It's a little more touchy than the CMX 5C. I'm, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, CMX 5C is X 5C is still a steadier flyer than this, in my opinion. Somewhat more easier for beginners, but this one's this one's a little more responsive. If you want to do that, if you want to really sharp banks, let's try that again. Another sharp bank. So this one's a little more acrobatic in terms of banking. This is 50%. Let's go up to 75% and see what it can do. Oh, I think my ba yeah, my batteries are, or lights are flashing. So I'm bringing it in now. So again, that's a good thing, these flashing LEDs to let you know when the batteries are low, because you can easily see it with this thing. That was the uh, JGRC H8C, and always remember, turn your camera off before shutting down the quadcopter, otherwise you may lose your videos. 
That's true with all of these camera quadcopters. And I'm verifying, I can see the green light, so it's recorded the video. Okay, I want to do a quick comparison flight using the SEMA X5C and its video camera uh, to show the difference in video uh, between the X5C and the um, JJRC H8C. Uh, to save battery power, I'm not turning on that camera until I'm at altitude. Okay, camera is turned on. This is what it looks like. JJRC or the uh, SEMA X5C camera. Notice that it's likely a very downward angle. Um, and that's because of the downward facing camera on the quadcopter. But it's very smooth flyer. Uh, much smoother. <laughs> I gotta admit it's it's more smooth than the X or the H8C. However, it's not quite as powerful as the H8C uh, regarding uh, lifting cameras. It can lift a Mebius, and it also can lift an H or a 808 camera. But the problem being is uh, it severely limits the flight time on the quadcopter because that battery is a lot smaller than the battery that comes with the H8C. So, Hope you enjoyed the, uh, the flight. I'm going to bring it in now. I'm turning off the video. I think I made the point. I'm going to do one more loop around the, the lake here to show you the video. And I'll bring it in. I still like this quadcopter. Um, mainly because it's so stable a flyer. <laughs> okay, uh, turning off the camera. and just flying without the camera on. I'm gonna bring it in closer. Let's see if I got enough battery power to show one more thing here. I got a wind at my back. But even with that wind, Notice the stability of this, fly, this flyer, particularly in vertical mode. Okay, or in vertical flight with the wind. This is a much st more stable flyer than the, uh, well, keep in mind I'm flying in the wind here, but indoors, this thing just hovers in air, <laughs> motionless, almost motionless in air when you're indoors. It's, it's a great beginner's quadcopter and there's no if and or buts about that. For a beginner I like this one over the H H HHC. Uh, for intermediate flyers of course the HHC is the one to go with. Okay, so Quadcopter 101 signing out.